Hey everybody, welcome. We're here today to talk about the Peak Design Travel Tripod. What features does it boast and is it worth the price? Hey everybody, I'm Philip Bloom and let's dig right into the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Hey, by the way, if you are not subscribed, Go ahead and do that now. Just subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'd love to stay connected with you here on the Blooms YouTube channel. Um, I have used an aluminum version of the travel tripod from Peak Design before. It actually comes in either aluminum or carbon fiber. Uh, the choice is yours, depending on how much you're ready to spend. Uh, but they both come in the same exact size, the same exact specs and dimensions. Uh, just the weight is gonna be different overall. So here I have the new carbon fiber model, which is going to be about a half pound lighter than the aluminum. We'll go over those exact specs in a second. Um, but before anything, let's just unbox it and see how it comes out of the box. So Peak Design, delivery and packaging uh, is just part of their branding and it's so well done. It's a really nice form fitting case. So we'll open that up here by the zipper and one, the one thing I think that is lacking in this the case in the outer shell is that it, it, although it does have some handles and uh, a little loop to maybe hook a carabiner or something onto, it doesn't come with a shoulder strap. And so if you are used to, like me, uh, when you're doing nature photography or anything out in the wild, uh, taking and throwing your tripod over your shoulder, um, that's something that's lacking. You might have to add your own uh, secondary third party strap to this. Um, however, it is so small that you could potentially fit this, start fitting it into your camera bag instead of having to carry it as an accessory on the outside. Um, so we'll slip this out. Let's take a look at the real deal here. It has this really um, beautiful kind of shiny finish to it um, with a real trendy modern uh, just geometric shape, a pattern to each of the legs. This is an extremely sturdy piece of equipment, uh, really rugged. And while it might get some superficial scratches, it holds up um, under a lot of pressure and it's extremely stable, especially for a tripod of this size. So just to kind of compare that, um, this carbon fiber is only 2.8 pounds. I'm just gonna weigh that here and see if that's pretty accurate compared to what they advertise. We've got, yeah, 2.8. 2.9, my scale says, so about 2.8, 2.9 pounds. Of course, uh, that tenth of a pound might be the tags that are still hanging on this new tripod. But let's just compare that, for example, to my uh, Manfrotto tripod that I've had for a long time. The weight difference here is tremendous. I think it might be hard to even weigh this on my scale, uh, but with the head, the ball head I have on here, it's over uh, seven pounds easily. So we're talking about three times the weight um, in a traditional tripod. So, um, and the size difference you can see as well, the immense difference, nobody makes anything compact as this. Um, so that is what makes the Peak Design Travel Tripod an extreme favorite. I mean, you'll see five star ratings across the board. Um, and if you hear any complaints about it from most users, it is related to the price. And that is an issue, the aluminum build um, of this travel tripod starts at $350. So for $350 is your entry level. We're gonna look at some of the features and see if it's worth it to you. I think depending on your uses, it may be. Uh, and then if you're actually gonna go with this carbon fiber model, which weighs about half a pound less than the aluminum, um, then you're gonna pay about $600. $599 is the current price for that. So this is kind of a nice in between, between your big tripods and what many of us have tried to make do with, which is something like a little small Gorilla Pod. This is more of a uh, Gorilla Pod Pro professional size. You could put uh, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera on a tripod like this. Uh, and then of course you, you can't get height on it. Now uh, you have to find a rock or some other object to prop this on. And there's no real features to speak of. Um, but a lot of us have made do with this for a little while. And I think now that's really what the Peak Design travel tripod does is it takes um, the ability to have something so small and compact and it marries it with 
a full featured professional tripod um, and having all those features that you want. So let's actually break it out and look at those features. You can see when you initially open the legs here, you get um, a nice spread. You have on each of the legs four separate uh, little uh, levers here where you can release and open up all the way. Uh, it's, it's amazing, it kind of, as the smaller the legs get, you feel like it's a little more and more fragile. But the aluminum and the carbon fiber material, the build of this thing uh, remains incredi incredibly structurally sound. Um, so the height on this, in fact, is a max height of 60 inches. And I am 6'1", so um, I haven't had any problem with this particular um, 60 inch height. When I get my camera on here, as I'll show you in a second, that camera adds a couple inches as well. And of course, we can lift, this is what gets us to our 60 inches. Once we lift the center pole of this um, tripod, then we have real comfortable standing height. And it's only a small percentage of the time that I'm really using the tripod at its full standing height anyway. I'm usually using it lower to the ground in some unusual positions, and as we'll see in a minute, even reversing the center pole on this thing, and actually a really unique feature that this tripod has, allowing me to hang my camera upside down and actually get views right along the leading line of the ground, so putting this right at ground level. The really cool thing about the head of this travel tripod, you can see, I mean, I can wrap my fist around it, it's so small, and what it has done is it has put into a compact ergonomic shape and form all of the features that we're used to having as big levers um, that get really cumbersome and it's all compact into this one area. So there's this ergonomic uh, ball head design that as you can see when, it, when the center pole is lowered, the, in, the parts of that ball head that embrace the ball head and allow you to swivel around it actually fit right in between your three legs of the tripod. When it's up, however, all you have to do is just twist the column here itself and it becomes really universally uh, mobile in any direction. So you can perfectly level out the, um, your camera uh, or put it at any, any angle you desire, right? So how do you know if it's level? Of course, a lot of cameras these days, like my Sony a7R 4 here, um, a lot of those have leveling, digital leveling um, in the, the OLED screen, and you can actually look at your camera for that. Um, but I, I have been working with tripods so long, and I'm just used to having the nice leveling bubble. That's what I tend to look at, and I love that that is actually built in here into this small form factor tripod head. You actually have a ball level. Um, you can get that where you like it, twist that tight. Uh, and then, what's really nice is there is a camera to tripod uh, plate here. It's a perfect square. It can go in any direction uh, and then fit right into here. You can snap it down that easily and with the button you can lift your camera up out of the tripod. Um, so you just push it into place and if you're concerned about losing that, it's very sturdy, but if you're concerned about your camera falling off by accidentally pressing that button, it even has a complete safety locking mechanism. So by turning this lock here, which is just above the ball head release swivel, uh, now that button is completely immobile and you have a really uh, stout, stable uh, position now without your camera going anywhere. On my camera, I won't even put on the plate that is included because uh, it's kind of a universal uh, plate size. I have a spider holster set up, which is how I retrieve my uh, camera and keep it on my belt. And on that spider holster plate, um, I have the ASRC2 adapter, the most common type of uh, tripod plate adaption. So the ASRC2 uh, actually clips right into here as well. I have to go in the right direction, but I can clip it right in there and it fits perfectly within these two pins. So these pins that are on top keep the plate from sliding out one side or out of the other side um, off of the tripod. So now it's completely stable with the base plate I already have and of course I can lock that right into place and not worry about it falling off. 
once I find my camera position, I'm good to go. The only uh, sort of negative here, if you can call it a negative, is that this is not a fluid head. Um, you're not going to get the effect as you would with a nice fluid head monopod or fluid head tripod. That being said, um, Peak Design does provide a universal tripod head adapter. So you can, that universal head adapter allows you to connect onto the head here uh, any of your fluid heads or uh, articulating um, types of connections for your camera. And that piece costs about $30. So there we have that. Let's just go ahead and kind of bring our center column back into position here. And let's look a little bit at the legs. So the first thing you notice here on the legs is this piece that pops off pretty easily. Uh, this little piece is a, a hex wrench. So where are, where are you gonna use that hex wrench? Uh, it's really, I, what I love about Peak Design is every little piece is uh, custom made for the unit. Um, and the way this breaks out, it gives you two sizes of um, little hex wrench here. And you can use this for taking off these pins from the tripod head <clears throat> if you want to remove those and fit a different adapter on top. Um, and then the larger hex, uh, hex wrench here can be used to tighten and maintain uh, the other pieces on your tripod legs themselves. So I'll put that aside for a minute. Make sure I don't knock it off while we talk. Um, the legs come out at a really nice standard width here. Um, so it's a, it's a good stance uh, for the legs of your tripod. Now, they're also able to expand out pretty significantly. So if you just press the small button on each leg, you can bring these out almost horizontal. I would probably take a moment and fold in my legs here on this tripod, right? So we have that, and now we can actually bring our legs out and bring it down here and about 5.5 inches have our lowest setting for the tripod. So that's really, really powerful. You can also actually take, a, take apart and use this center pole in a way that no other tripod is really capable of. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, what I'd like to show you is what is lurking beneath the surface of this tripod that you may not even see. And that is in your center pole at the bottom. Of course, there's a, a weight hook. And that's great. A lot of tripods have that feature. You can hang a sandbag or something on here to add stability. But very fascinating. If you actually look at the directions, uh, like little hieroglyphics that are right on the stand, it gives you some directions on how to push and pull. And all you do is just push and pull at the same time, and out comes the weight hook. You can actually just uh, move that aside and fit into this another, again, that hexagonal, everything so geometric and compact together, comes out this hexagonal shaped little pipe. You might be wondering what that is. Um, it's really clever and that once you open it, it has a perfect uh, little B-shaped form that allows you to fit in your camera. In this modern age, I'm using my phone camera uh, a lot in my professional work, in my vlogging and behind the scenes work. So if you simply take that off, now this piece actually fits just like your typical camera plate would into your tripod. So you can actually do that, um, set up your, your phone camera on there right away. So the really cool feature is once you've removed that cell phone mount, um, you can actually slide the center pole right out of the tripod and turn it upside down into a reverse position. It doesn't matter which way you turn it, um, that kind of Superman symbol shaped uh, form of everything that makes it so stable and structurally strong fits right through. Um, and at this point, I can literally take and mount my camera upside down, uh, which is something I've not been able to do on any of my tripods before, but it's really useful. So I'll slip this into place. I wanna make sure it's locked. Um, and then I can literally go in here and put my 
camera ground level. Of course, I'm going to have to rotate my photos or my video uh, 360 degrees later, um, but that's no problem at all. And it, it gives me this really cool ability to shoot with leading lines right across the ground, right across the horizon. Um, so that is kind of a nice sneaky way to surpass that 5.5 inch um, minimum height of the tripod and get right down uh, with basically a minimum height of zero against the ground. So you can of course very quickly flip that back around, be in traditional uh, tripod mode and then we can take and rebuild our tripod. So that you guys is the Peak Design uh, Travel Tripod. I just want to summarize by saying for me uh, this has become kind of my universal tripod. Uh, it's great for shooting weddings and portraits because uh, I can easily keep it on my person nearby. I don't, it's not a bulk piece of equipment I have to keep set up on one end of the venue and then run get it when it's time for family formals. Um, I can keep it close by all the time, it's no hassle. But it's also great for my personal work when I'm getting out to nature and just doing that uh, therapeutic part of photography that I love. Um, getting out into Yosemite or the Grand Canyon somewhere and hiking in with, with this. Whereas before, I might have just chosen to leave my tripod behind altogether. Um, again, just in summary, the aluminum version of this is just 3.4 pounds. The carbon fiber is only 2.8 pounds as opposed to perhaps your 7 or 8 pound uh, tripod that you're using currently. So it's a fraction of that weight and maybe a third of that size. Um, and then there are the reversible center column that can hang upside down and also it's loaded with features. It has the cell phone mount loaded inside of it, the wake uh, hook on the bottom of it ready to stabilize your tripod even in those windy conditions. Uh, and then of course you have um, that bushing removal tool, that hex wrench built right in, attached and your, any tools you might need for the tripod are at hand ready to go. So I highly recommend it. It's absolutely the best tripod I've ever used. I hope that's been a super useful summary for you of this amazing um, Swiss Army knife of tripods, the Peak Design Travel Tripod. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, reach out to us at the Blooms or Come Unity Photographer Groups. And be sure to subscribe to this video for future uh, episodes coming soon. And have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.